Alright guys, so I've been asked quite a few times <clears throat> about how much does it cost to live here in Angeles City. Um, today I'm going to go over like our monthly expenses. But before I start, uh, one of the things you got to realize if you come to Angeles City, it's all in you know your lifestyle. Um, other guys have said it. Other guys have put out you know videos about how much it costs to live here in Philippines, different places in the Philippines. But like I said, it all depends on your lifestyle. Um, do you need a studio apartment? Do you need a one-bedroom apartment? Two-bedroom apartment? Do you need it furnished? Are you willing to furnish it? Do you want to live in a condo? Do you want to stay in a hotel? You know, it, it all depends on your lifestyle and what you're accustomed to. You know, that's the key thing here. Um, I'm, give, I'm going to give you guys a, a rundown of, of our expenses for the month. And that's two adults and uh, our daughter who's nine years old. And we have a two-bedroom apartment, two baths, unfurnished. We furnished everything. Um, so, yeah, this, I mean, like I said, it all depends on, on your lifestyle. Do you like to go out to eat all the time? Are you willing to cook? You know, can you go to the grocery, sh grocery store and shop on your own? Um, it's all up to you. It's all up, you know, to, to what you, your lifestyle is and what you're accustomed to. Um, but anyways, let me get into this real quick and go over our monthly expenses here in Angeles City where we live. Our rent is 12,000 pesos a month. Um, that's roughly $235. Um, I'm going to give you guys the peso rate. Uh, right now I just exchanged money yesterday and it was 51 pesos on the US dollar. Um, so yeah, our rent is 12,000 pesos or 235 a month. Like I said, it's a two bedroom apartment, um, two baths, comfortable you know it, it's not really big it's not really tiny but you know what we're happy here and that's that's the key thing um, our electric our electric varies from month to month depending on the weather when it's real hot hot our electric bill will go up over 4,000 pesos a month for the simple reason we run the air conditioning more and uh, I'm upstairs more in the air conditioning uh, throughout the day um, our electric bill this month was 3,213 pesos, roughly $63. Um, let me see, we got a refrigerator going, we got our laptops going, a TV, which is only on for maybe a half hour in the morning and maybe an hour or two in the afternoon. We rarely use it. Um, Let's see, we have a fan that pretty much runs during the day downstairs here. At night, we have the air conditioning running. Unless it's cool, I'll turn the air off and open the window, turn on the fan. And then in my daughter's room, we have a fan that runs at night also. Um, really, that's about all the electric appliances we have. We don't have an electric gas stove to, or electric stove to uh, cook our meals on. We have a, a propane tank and a stove that we use to cook with. Um, you know, aside from lights on at night, we leave our lights off during the day for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's that's our electric bill. Like I said, 3,213 pesos this month or $63. Um, our garbage and water, um, what I mean by water, like our, our sink water, our, our shower water, things like that, and our garbage pickup that we pay, and it's, we pay once a month for that we pay our landlord and that's 350 pesos a month or about six dollars um, cable and internet uh, this is combined cable and combined internet um, I don't know how many channels we get 227 some channels something like that some high def and some just standard uh, cable what is it 30 10 30 upload 10 download one of those um, but that never changes. Like I said, 2,199 pesos or $43 a month. Our drinking water, uh, we don't drink the water here. We buy the big blue jugs. Uh, we usually go through three of those big blue jugs every, you know, like week and a half, give or take. And we usually buy three of those at one shot. Um, so what's that, about nine? We get about nine of those a month and that's about 270 pesos or five dollars a month for that uh grocery grocery store we'll do a big shop in the beginning of the month um, we'll spend quite a bit of money in one big 
uh, shop um, and then do a little shopping here and there throughout the month you know picking up just different things that we might need um, you know we don't I don't we don't buy a lot of like Western foods I mean there are a few things that I do like to have um, that I you know I kind of crave and I want and I'll buy those but you know we don't shop strictly in the Western aisle you know where you can buy the Western style foods and things like that you know we buy Filipino food here um, you know the snacks and the noodles and just different things like that um, but we we roughly spend around 10,000 pesos a month which is about hundred and ninety six dollars now we go to the market Louisa will go to the market here in the beginning of the month and she'll bulk buy and we'll put it in the refrigerator and freeze everything um, and she does that in the beginning of the month also and that's roughly around 4,000 pesos a month and uh, you're looking at about $78 just for that um, my car or our car and the motorbike gas um, I can fill up my motorbike on maybe a hundred pesos and by the end of the month I have burned up maybe a half a tank so I mean I do use the motorbike to do chores and errands here and there but I don't use it all the time um, we mostly use the car every day to run our daughter to school and back um, but yeah anyways gas we're, we're spending right around 1500 pesos a month um, like $29 a month just in gas um, our daughter's tuition every month we pay for her tuition that's 1,500 pesos a month and that's due in the beginning of, beginning of the month and that's $29 um, my pills my diabetes pills that I have um, they're right they're 3,500 pesos a month uh, about $68 a month um, and then we have the others I call others the others might be like eating out um, we do a lot of eating out um, trying to cut back on that usually every morning when we go for a walk we'd always grab breakfast somewhere but uh, I told Louisa I said we get you know I want to cut back on that rather eat at home it's cheaper we can save more money on that um, loads you got to buy a load for yourself or for your phones here you know I might buy 500 pesos a month for my load uh, I think she's anywhere between 500 pesos to a thousand pesos a month you know give or take somewhere around there a lot of times when we're home we're, we're connected to the internet so we're using you know our phone for 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 more things um, you know sending messages and things like that so we're not using up our load uh, my vape my vape uh, I spend I don't know about 300 pesos to 500 pesos give or take in a week um, between buying juices and setting up my vape and things like that if you don't know what a vape is this is a vape um, other things that we might do you know like a massage here and there um, we don't do them often not as often as we, we you know we would like but you know they can run they run about 250 each and then you know you throw your tip in there so you're looking at 250 five, you know, said five about 600 pesos you know for her and I to go get a massage that includes a tip um, a haircut you know I try to get a haircut maybe twice a month um, I think that runs about 90 pesos somewhere around there with my tip uh, if I go with a full shave it's going to be around 120 somewhere around there um, other things like she'll get her nails done we still get her nails done you know once maybe twice a month uh, I'm not quite sure how much it is it's, it's not very very much at all you know a few dollars US dollars it's not it's not very much um, in case we need clothing you know say she you know Hannah Grace needs some clothing or Louisa needs clothing or you know we need some new shoes you know things like that you know I'm, I'm throwing in here with uh, others uh, school supplies you know things like that you know things that you don't see um, heaven forbid if you have a you know if the car needs some work done or something like that you know that's another you know category right there um, what else you know I'll, I'll get the car washed at least once you know once a month uh, the bike maybe once a month you know but you're only looking at you know 90 pesos with tip 
you know so it, it's not very much but all that stuff will add up here and there um, but you know I'm looking at roughly between all that oh Cecig buying Cecig her worms she's got to have at least five worms in the morning and five worms at night uh, they run they just went up in price uh, one peso 1.50 pesos per worm um, I think I buy I don't know 50 maybe 200 worms a month and uh, a bag of feed for her uh, the bag of feed I just bought today was like 43 pesos for like a uh, one one what do you call it? kilogram almost two pounds of bird feed but like I said all those little things add up uh, but you're looking at roughly 30,600 pesos you know for all those little add up things or roughly 600 US dollars so what the total on peso brings it out to is 68,952 pesos or in USD $1,352 um, like I said that's just us and that's our lifestyle um, can you spend more? Sure. You could spend a lot more. Um, can you spend less? Sure you can. You know, if we ate at home more often than we ate out, we definitely could spend, you know, save a lot more money. But anyways, guys, you know, I, I figured I'd do this little video because people have been asking me, you know, hey, what does it cost to live in the Philippines? And, you know, hey, what does it cost to live in Angeles City? So um, that's our monthly expense. You know, sometimes it can be a little more, sometimes it can be a little bit less, but that's right around what we're spending a month. So, anyways, I hope this was, uh, you know, inf uh, informational to, uh, to people out there. And if you found this, you know, to be of any help, great. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, like, share, dislike, choice is always yours. Got CC singing in the background. Leave some comments below and uh, until next time.